Number 14. How does an atom differ from a molecule? And in what ways are they similar? Okay, so I always think that the similarities are easier to do than differences starting off. So let's do the similarities first. So I'm just going to put over here atoms versus molecules. Okay. So if I asked you, do you think that you would be able to see a individual atom of, we'll say, calcium or an individual molecule of O2 or NaCl? What would you say? Would we, able, would we be able as humans to see an individual, a single atom or a single molecule? No way. These are way too small. So the similarities between atoms and molecules is that we cannot see these. Our eyes are not powerful enough. These are very, very small. So atoms and molecules are super, super small. We cannot see them ourselves. That's why we have such powerful microscopes to look at atoms and molecules. Also, another similarity between these two is they both contain matter, right? There's a mass of something. The masses will change, but they still contain a mass, which means that they contain matter. In its most simplest forms, it bakes, it, you know, basically comes down to three things. It comes down to protons, neutrons, I'll put that down here, and electrons. So the combination of all of this, these three things, and a couple other things, but protons, neutrons, and electrons will create mass, matter. So these, both of these have a mass and matter. They take up space. Now, let's go into the differences. The differences between an atom and a molecule, you can kind of see them in what I wrote up here. Ca would be an example of an atom versus O2 and NaCl would be examples of molecules. Atoms are a single unit. Once you have two or more elements or two or more atoms coming together, it's not an atom anymore. It would be classified as a molecule. So the difference is, is atoms contain single unit. So only one calcium, only one lithium, only one carbon. Molecules can have multiple, basically multiple atoms coming together. Now, it doesn't have to be of the same. It could be different. Like, for example, O2 versus NaCl. O2 is two oxygens versus NaCl. It's one sodium and one chlorine coming together. But that's the differences. Atoms are just a single unit, so a single calcium, a single oxygen, a single chlorine. Molecules will have multiple atoms coming together. Okay, hope this helped a lot. If it did, click that subscribe button. Thank you for that, and I will see you all in the next lesson. Take care. Bye-bye.